At Holy Cross, we are all about small groups. And in many ways, small groups form the core of who we are and what we do as a church. It's because we believe that real life, real life change, happens more in circles than in rows. It happens more in houses of worshipers than in houses of worship. It happens more in living rooms than in classrooms. And that's not to take away from what happens when we gather together and worship at all. In fact, we believe that small groups become the environment in which we take what we learn on Sunday mornings and we massage it deeply into our hearts so that God can change our lives. I think if you only came to Sunday morning, you'd have one view of Holy Cross. But if you came to small groups, you'd get a whole other, richer, deeper view of being part of Holy Cross. In our small groups, our goal is gospel transformation, and all of us come to small group with a different experience. We've all had different upbringings, different lifestyles, and to see the gospel applied to all of those different types of people is very encouraging to me in my own faith, and it gives me a new facet of who Jesus is and helps me see him in a clearer way that I would not have been able to do. Probably most important to me is to be able to wrestle through the things of life with other people and, and from a gospel-centered perspective. So it's one thing to hear about um, the gospel on Sundays. It's a whole other thing to come and, and talk to others about how it's really impacting their lives. I feel like I've grown in my walk with Jesus through small groups in many ways. One of the biggest ways is I feel that I can be more authentic now. I've always been one of those people to keep an about face and really try to keep everything together on the outside even though things might be messy on the inside. I believe that these small groups allow me to let that guard down and to just be myself and be authentic and know that there are people that are supporting me who might have similar feelings even though they're in a different situation than I'm in. It's always a constant reminder that regardless of the situation, Jesus is there. And I think that's been brought even more like to my present state of mind through being part of small group. Being in small group, I've changed a good bit, I, w I would say. In my past, you know, I I've really been kind of guarded when it came to not only feelings, but in some cases, my faith. And small groups has provided me an opportunity to come together with other Christians that, that know a little bit more about the faith than I do and able to go over some of these things that I just, I just don't know. And these experiences and being able to talk to other small group members uh, has helped me learn more about the true meaning of the gospel. So it's really provided an opportunity for me to grow in my faith um, and, and grow closer to God. There's a sense of, of understanding that we're in this together. I don't have to do this on my own. I don't have to be the Lone Ranger, which is my typical way of going through life. And I'm really realizing that God created us to be in community, to depend on each other and to serving and loving each other. And, and when we're not doing that, we're, we're really truncating um, really what God's intended for us in our lives. What we see today is a society bent on isolation. Here at Holy Cross, what we want to provide is close, safe environments where people can be both known and loved. Where we can use our gifts not only to apply the gospel to one another's lives, but to reach out to our neighbors, our neighborhood, and our city. At Holy Cross, multiplying will mean not just multiplying a worship service, but these kind of communities, the kind of communities we were made for.